Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be playing with a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury. I don't show her stuff too much because she's more on the high end, a little bit more expensive, but she recently had a sale and I decided to try more of her like eyeshadow sticks and some of her mascara and another type of lipstick. I do have some of her lipsticks, which is what she's known for, her pillow talk. And she did send me a few samples of like, well, the, everybody gets a sample, not just me, of like the concealer and some, uh, what's this one? The Brightening Youth Glow. So you get a little bit of samples with each order that you place. And then also the new, um, it's called Vergara. Oh, this one's called Viva La Vergara, which I'm assuming is it's after, uh, oh my God, the extra, actress, Sofia Vergara. And it's got a beautiful, it's probably the, her signature red. So yeah, she's a, uh, Charlotte Tilbury, I believe she was a makeup artist to famous people. So she's always saying, I love her saying, hello darling. <laughs> so she's so uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor to me. So anyway, I'm going to start off with her eyeshadow palette. And this is her eyeshadow palette. I love that it comes in, it gives you kind of a color, the three Four color stories so you can kind of pick and choose Oops, don't want to flash you pick and choose it's got this little card and the card says like uh, prime and hands and smoke so it tells you one two three what steps to use so it kind of takes that guesswork out of figuring out what colors to put on your eyes and it has happy glow love glow dream glow seduce glow so I'm excited to try out her eyeshadows. Starry Eyes to Hypnotize, it's what it's called. So I'm excited to play with that. So, as usual, before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video as I upload videos weekly regarding makeup and tutorial, makeup tutorials and beauty tips and tricks. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I've zoomed in and I have my eyes primed, of course, with my Pia Louise, as usual. I try to use, I need to get the MAC one. Uh, the uh, I used to love the Painterly Pot, I think it's what it's called, in Soft Ochre. And I need to get some more, more, some more of that to try a different base for you guys. All right, so I'm looking at, I mean, I'm wearing kind of a cream color top. I'm on long sleeves because it feels like fall today. It was rainy and chilly, so I'm gonna go with Dream Glow. This one, the Dream Glow right here. I'm gonna try to use as many products as I can from the order. Um, I also have the, like I said, the Color Chameleon Sticks. And this one is a Smoky, what's this one? Smoky Eye, Smoky Emerald for Hazel Eyes. And this is what it looks like. So I think I'm going to use that as an eyeliner. It's kind of like a deep military green or uh, deep like dry green, which I think would be beautiful for the fall. And then there's dark pearl. And this one is for brown eyes. So I'm going to try combining the powder shadows with these eyeshadow sticks. They said they're color changing. That's why they're color chameleon. They're color changing eye sticks glow sticks something like that <laughs> now what does it say on the box color morphing eyeshadow pencil so i'm gonna try between the the powder shadows and that because those are creamy and i love cream shadows if you have more mature skin and you know a lot more like uh crepiness or wrinkles the cream cream eyeshadows are a lot better to reduce the appearance of crepiness or any wrinkles, uh, you know, not bring out the wrinkles like powder does. So just a tip right there. So I'm gonna start with the Dream Glow. I'm gonna try this one. It says Prime. So I'm assuming you put that all over your eyelid. Put that like champagne color on the lid. Okay, it says to Prime. It looks pretty. And then we're going to enhance, which is like this gray shimmer. I think they're all, all three of them are shimmer, or one is satin, the green one is satin. So I'm going to enhance with that gray color. Yeah, kind of give it some dimension. Okay. 
It's really pretty. It, they are super creamy, which I like. I'm gonna take kind of a fluffy brush and kind of just go all over it. I'm gonna blend out any harsh edges. So I'm gonna try these, this stick. This one is the Smoky Emerald, and I'm gonna try putting that kind of right along the outer edge of my eye and kind of blend it up, see how that looks. I'm thinking it's gonna look really pretty. These are really creamy and pigmented, and you can probably use them on their own. If you're in a rush. I'm gonna take this little brush from Morphe and the M506 and kind of try blending that out. Give my, lift my eye a little bit and give it some dimension and kind of take it up here. Well, that ended up being a lot smokier <laughs> than this one, but that's really, really pretty. And don't worry if you go too far out because as usual we haven't applied any foundation and we can clean that up and let me do the other side let me do the other side wow isn't that pretty and then this brown one don't know if i want to use that one but i can might, probably can put some a little bit right here Right there, that should look pretty. Just kind of want to try them all. <laughs> it really makes your brown eyes pop. If you have kind of dark brown eyes. But this one they say, it's kind of like a champagne. They say it's for blue eyes. But I think it looked pretty right there on top of that other one. I don't know, I don't have blue eyes, but I, I kind of like this kind of to highlight my eyes a little more. Oh, it's definitely very pretty. See how it kind of gives you a, a more highlighted effect. Isn't that pretty? Kind of really highlights the center of the eye. It says it's for blue eyes, but I like it for my eyes too. <laughs> and um, well, I don't know if I should try now the last one, which is the smoke it out, which is this dark green. I'm gonna take this little pencil brush, see what the color this is. Ooh, that's dark. It doesn't look that dark in the pan. No wonder it says smoke it out. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful deep green. All right. I see you, Charlotte. See that? I didn't think it was that dark. It doesn't look that dark in the pan. So instead of an eyeliner, I think I'm gonna use this. So I really took that to the center of my eye. All right, so uh, before, this is for the eyes, but before I finish the eyes, I'm gonna go in and apply my foundation. For foundation, I already have primer, even though they give they did give me some primer here. It says Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer. This is what it is. I'm just gonna put a little bit here and call it good. <laughs> All right, for, for foundation, I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I wanna try that one too. I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath. The Pat McGrath uh, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And I have the color Light Medium 12. And this one is a very light coverage. So you want to either color correct ahead of time or use a concealer for any spots that might show through because it's a pretty light coverage. You'd have to put a lot of layers on to achieve full coverage. This is light to medium coverage, which I love because it's not a heavy foundation. So. Put some on my hand. Okay, these eyeshadows don't don't budge. I tried wiping them off my hand. And they're not coming off. <laughs> this is a very watery formula. I'm gonna use a again we have this brush from uh, Laura Lee. 
All right, so the foundation is on. Look at how beautiful that your, it makes your skin look, the Pat McGrath. I mean, it's a spendy foundation. It's like $60, but it makes your skin look, look absolutely beautiful. So, and like I said, it's not a heavy coverage, so it's really perfect for dry skin. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Kosas. Kosas concealer, it's another nice moisturizing concealer. I really like this one. And I have the color four. I'm gonna go in and blend the wet sponge. So for under my eyes, I'm gonna go in and use the Slay All Day Setting Spray by Gerard Cosmetics. And as always, under my eyes, the Pat McGrath powder so as you can see with the Kosas concealer and setting it you know blending it in with uh, my setting spray it makes my under eye look so nice and not too dry all right so for contour as you I'm gonna use I haven't used it for a while my mocha stick from from Fenty Beauty. Then I'm going to use from Charlotte Tilbury the this one is uh, the Hollywood Flawless Filter, and this is kind of like um, it's more of a I see it more as a some people put it under the foundation, but I see it more as a liquid highlighter. So it gives you kind of like a natural glow from within. So I'm gonna take a beauty blender and put some on the beauty blender and kind of put it right here. See how it kind of makes your skin look glowy and dewy? I guess you could put it all over your face or mix it with your foundation, but I just like to put it right here like on the high points where I would normally put highlighter. And it just makes your skin look very glowy. See how it just looks dewy, just kind of like I said, it gives you a natural glow. I mean, you can put on regular highlighter over it, but this really is kind of like a healthy, healthy glow is what I want to say. And uh, for blush, the cream blush from Fenty Beauty, I have the color Summertime Wine. And just going to take it, since we're doing all mostly creams, this summertime, this blush from Fenty is so nice, the cream. So you put it over the highlighter and it looks so pretty. Just gives you that natural glow. And then to set, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. It just kind of powder the areas that are really gonna get, uh, that get oily throughout the day, otherwise, Having a nice dewy look for, especially if you have dry skin, is just perfect. Uh, to finish the eyes, for under the eye, I'm gonna go in with that that green that said smoke, the, to smoke out the eye, to smoke. And take a flat brush like this and just put that right here. And for uh, waterline, I'm going to use a nude color. I think would look really pretty with this to really open up the eyes. The nude mechanical. This one is from MAC. I think this is from MAC. Risque. Yep, from MAC Cosmetics. And put that in the waterline. To blend out the lash line, I'm going to use this fluffy brush from Laura Lee and just go into the middle like grayish color and smoke this out a little bit and then I think I'm going to try this the one for blue eyes the uh, champagne diamonds let me try it right here this area these three these three colors would be probably perfect to travel with instead of taking a whole um, eyeshadow palette. All right, for uh, the mascara I'm trying out from her, this one's called Leg Legendary Lashes Volume 2. Let's see how good this is. <clears throat> see, 
Ooh, that's a big brush. I mean a big wand. That is so pretty. I'm not gonna do lashes because we don't always do lashes. And I think the I think the mascara is making my lashes look really pretty. It's a nice mascara. All right, for the lips, I really want to try that deep color, the Vergara. And I'm, I might, if I like it, I might get the full size. I got the little sample size. And so let me find a lip liner. All right, so now that the lips are lined, this is a Pat McGrath lip liner and it's called Sub Suburbia. Uh, Pat McGrath lip liners are really good. We're going really fancy this video. <laughs> All right, so this is the Viva, is it Viva? Viva La Vergara. This, I'm excited because this color looks really pretty. Oh my gosh. Isn't that gorgeous? This is such a pretty color. What do you guys think? Do you like it? It is gorgeous. I did get other colors. That's bitch perfect. And this one is Pillow Talk. And it's also a nice dark color. Okay, this is a, it looks like it's a lip balm, a tinted lip balm. Because it's really dark. See the color? Oops. See the color, but look at the, it's this one right here. Oops, right there. This one is Lucky Diamonds. I'm going to put it on the other side of those eyeshadows that won't go away. Okay, so this one does look more like a lipstick. So it just varies. So this one is... So the Lucky Diamond... The Lucky Diamonds is a, also glossy, starlit, sparkling lip looks. I'm so confused. Because they have different boxes. See? So... But I guess they're both... Glossy starlit, starlit lip looks. They're both glosses? I don't know. I'm gonna put this one on because it looks like really shiny. And I'm gonna put it over this color. I think this one just adds glitter. That's what it is. That's why it says it's starlit and it's got a different packaging. Oh, a different box. Because you could just add like a gold sparkly lip color to it and the other one is actual lip gloss it's just a lip is a gloss to put over the colors yeah i think this one is more of a gloss the other one is more just like adding sparkles to your lip making it from a matte to kind of a shimmer type of deal so nice you can kind of play around with the colors and turn give it different finishes so that's kind of nice so all right, so we're done playing with all the Charlotte Tilbury products. I love them all. And I'll link everything down below as usual in the description box so that you guys can go see if you wanna try them out. Like I said, sometimes she has sales going on. The eyeshadow palette, super pretty. The uh, chameleon or whatever, these eyeshadow sticks, they are really pretty too and it looks like they like last. Because as much as I've wiped off all the lipstick, the, the eyeshadows are still on there. So that is really cool because it means they won't budge. They'll last you all day long. And like I said, this is easily a day to night look. I would definitely use this throughout the day. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. I usually don't use shimmer in the crease, but I'm very impressed right now. So if you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it helps my channel and share it with anybody that you think might enjoy it. And as usual, stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.